a warm welcome to our diaries whenever there is a change in nature or any season changes we start living in harmony with nature and bring all the seasonal changes or things into our homes or lives which we call seasonal living and we housewives call it seasonal home making today i will take you through a small part of my winter home making I have already shared a dedicated winter homemaking video on cozy winter tips to embrace the winter lovingly and infuse the winter season into your life and house with ease. I have shared the link of that video in the comment box below. In India, especially in northern parts, it is freezing these days, but here in UAE It's just a small change in weather and not that much cold. But to have that typical winter vibes, I am planning to do something so that I can also feel like it's a winter season. However, I am happy that I am safe from the chilled weather because I don't like winter that much. When sunlight comes inside the house, It looks no less than gold or diamond to me. This is very precious and a blessing. So today I am going to make winter special laddus, gond laddus, a traditional sweet balls with edible gum. First I am going to fry gond in desi ghee. Actually after frying I recalled that it's supposed to be sun dried for some time before use. That's why you saw the gond did not puff that much or maybe the ghee is less. I am going to add almonds and cashew nuts as dry fruits and just a bit of walnut also but not much. And similarly I will fry the almonds and cashew nuts also. Always fry them separately as they take different timings to turn golden or brown. You probably know that winter laddus are made with gond or edible gum, dry fruits, desi ghee, jaggery or sugar and generally by using wheat flour. It requires a good amount of desi ghee to saute it very well. But I add the ghee slowly and gradually and saute it until it turns brown or dark brown. Luckily, it fried up pretty good. Now it has got a perfect brown color. I like this much brownish color. But if you want, you can turn off the flame before this also. It's time to grind the dry fruits and gond. You can adjust yourself how coarse or fine you want the mixture. I want it to be little bit coarse as this will give the laddus a crunchy and nutty flavor. Adding this mixture to the well roasted atta and let them rest for some time to little bit cool down. as we want some warmness in the mixture to bind up the portion properly to make laddus these bananas are quite ripe so i thought of making milkshake from them i haven't eaten anything for quite some time now so this banana shake will give me instant energy i have made banana shake without adding sugar because it is already very sweet Winter makes us feel lazy. It brings slowness in our lives. But we have to find out ways to stay active. So I think these are some of the ways that can make us always active. I mean, it takes a lot of time to prepare these dishes. My squirrel always cheers me up whenever I feel a little tired or lazy or bored. Her chit chat is really cute and fun. In fact, if I don't stop her, she would be continuing.
इट्स टाइम फॉर द इवनिंग किचन रिचुअल्स एज यूजल कुकिंग सब्जी मेकिंग चपाती और पराठास वाइपिंग द काउंटर टॉप क्लीनिंग द पाइल्स डूइंग डिशेस एंड सो मच मोर After having dinner and completing all the work I jumped straight to make laddus slightly warming this mixture so that ghee can melt in it and I can easily bind up the laddu My trick to add sugar in any sweet dish I always divide any mixture in two equal parts and then add the sweetness equal to the half portion no matter how much it is This way I don't need to remember how much sugar need to be added into any mixture. It always works for me. You can make little bit less or bit more sugar or bura to this quantity as per your taste. But this is the scale for me. I have seen my mummy making laddus in this way and I still remember this method and I always follow it to make laddus. My daughter is also excited to sit down with me and see how to make laddu. We can also take advantage of this lazy season. We can have a warm food. We can stay at home with cozy and warm living and relax without worrying because it's a slow season. So try to learn to live with the slowness, calmness in life. Try to live peacefully in winter to make yourself energetic for the upcoming seasons. My daughter liked the laddus. Did you also like and enjoy watching this video? Please let me know in comment box below. And keep watching my other videos. Also subscribe to Abort Diaries. See you soon.